In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Phantom Wallet to interact with the Solana ecosystem. In my opinion, this is one of the best web browser wallets that you can use for Solana, and I'm going to show you how you can get started with it. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to phantom.app and then download the application for your web browser. In this case, I'm using Brave, but you could also use this for Chrome or any of the other web browsers out there. So we're adding this to Brave as an extension to the web browser. It's very similar to MetaMask if you're familiar with that, except this wallet can also be used to interact with the Solana ecosystem. Now, if you already have a seed phrase that you want to import from an existing wallet, you can do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new wallet. Once you enter in your password and agree to the terms of service, you'll be pretty much ready to go. The wallet is going to provide you with a secret recovery phrase. This is 12 words that you're going to want to write down somewhere safe where no one has access to them. And this is going to be what's going to allow you to recover your wallet if for some reason you lost your computer, got hacked, or otherwise you can't access your assets. So write this down somewhere safe and don't show it to anyone. And once you have done that, you're all ready to go. So we can go ahead and get started. So here you can now see that Phantom is showing up as one of my browser extensions. I'm just going to go ahead and pin it to my bookmarks bar to make it easier to access and let's go ahead and open her up. So this is what the Phantom Wallet looks like once it's installed in your web browser. Now you can see that it's actually compatible with multiple blockchains, so you can use it for Solana, but also Ethereum and Polygon. Although for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use it with Solana. So up here, if you hover over your account name, you're gonna see the three different addresses. Now it's important to note that the Ethereum and Polygon addresses will be the same, but the Solana address is completely different because it's a different layer one blockchain. So if you're ever sending assets to or from Solana versus Ethereum or Polygon, you need to make sure that you copy the correct address. If you try to send Solana to your Ethereum wallet address with Phantom, it will not work and you will lose your assets. So I'm gonna send some Solana to my new account from a centralized exchange. I have a little bit of Solana on Binance, so let's go ahead and withdraw it to the new wallet. All right, yeah, so it has now arrived. I have $25 worth of Solana or 0.55 Solana now in my new wallet. So that is how you receive crypto. If I wanted to send it, I would hit on the send button. I would select the network, Solana, and then I would paste the Solana wallet in here. And again, it's important to make sure that you're copy pasting the correct addresses. If you send it to the wrong blockchain, your funds will be lost. Now, what else can we do with the Phantom wallet now that we have created it and funded it? Well, we can interact with the entirety of the Solana ecosystem. So I'm talking about DeFi, I'm talking about NFTs, there's tons of stuff we can do. Now, I'm not gonna give a full tutorial in this quick little video on the Solana ecosystem, but I'll show you one example of how this wallet actually works to interact with different applications. If you go to solana.com slash ecosystem, you can see the entire list of the applications that have been built upon the Solana blockchain, and there's tons of different stuff that you can do. So for example, in the DeFi section, we could swap or trade, or we could take out loans against our crypto assets, or we could loan out our crypto assets. Then of course, there's NFTs and so much more. So just for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go to the Orca DeFi application and I'll show you how it works. Now you can see that this is one of the larger DeFi applications on the Solana network. Its all time volume is over $36 billion in trading. So obviously quite a lot. Now what you want to do in order to actually trade and make swaps on this application is to hit on this button here that says connect wallet. And then it's going to ask us if we want to connect our phantom wallet. We can use different wallets, but obviously this is a phantom tutorial. We're going to hit connect and then approve it in our wallet. And now we are connected and it automatically recognizes how much Solana we have in our wallet. And we can use this now to interact with the application. And so it's the same process if you're using the Phantom Wallet with other DeFi applications. All you do is connect it by hitting on the connect button and then you can go ahead and use the application to do whatever you want to do. So in this case, we could make a trade. So for example, if I wanted to buy, I don't know, a stable coin or any other coin, let's say I wanted to buy roll Bitcoin with my Solana, I would select which asset I want to buy or sell and then I would select how much I want. So if I'm gonna buy Rollbit, I'd select the buy button, I'd choose the asset in this case, RLB, and then I choose how much soul I wanna swap into Rollbit. So let's say I just wanna do a small amount, like 0.05, uh, then it will automatically pop up and show me that for this, 
I will get nine RLB tokens and the cost is $2.22. So let's go ahead and hit the buy button. Then it pops up in our Phantom Wallet browser extension asking us to confirm this transaction. And so we're gonna have to pay the 0.05 SOL and also a small network fee for making the transaction, although it's just gonna be a couple of cents. And that's one of the major benefits of using Solana as opposed to Ethereum is that it's a lot cheaper to use. So I waited too long and I have to actually wait for this to get a new quote. And now we're gonna actually approve it. So let's open up our wallet again, hit the confirm button and our transaction is now processing. All right, so that was confirmed, and I am now the proud owner of 9.43 RLB, or Rollbit tokens. And now if I open up my Phantom Wallet, it automatically actually recognizes that I have a new asset in my wallet, which is the Rollbit coin. So it's pretty intuitive, pretty easy to use, and you can pretty much go through this same process on any of the DeFi applications that are built on the Solana network using your new Phantom Wallet. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and good luck interacting with the Solana ecosystem. I'll see you in the next video.